Hello. We're all under the influence of mild Atlantic air at the moment. So temperatures were higher on Wednesday than they were Tuesday around the Murray Firth. Actually, we had 15 degrees Celsius, well above average. That's all about to change. By the end of the day ahead, the cold airs established across northern Scotland and across all parts of that Arctic air is with us for the start of Friday. In fact, it's sitting behind this weather front here. So some wetter weather rolling south across Scotland through the remainder of the night towards the central belt. Really mild and murky to the south of that. Some drizzle around the coast and hills in the west, some hill fog as well. So a fairly unpleasant rush hour for central parts of Scotland, southern Scotland. That rain pushes its way southwards through the day. Further south, though, after a little bit of a grey and murky start, some dampness around, perhaps a little bit more optimistic of getting some sunshine through those clouds during the course of the afternoon because it gets windier. The wind helps to break up the clouds. Mild, though. Wetter for the afternoon across parts of Northern Ireland and Northern England. Windier as well here. Gusts of about 50 miles an hour, but gusts perhaps 60, 65 miles an hour picking up across Scotland, pushing those heavy, frequent showers in, turning to snow by the end of the day across the Northern Isles and continuing to blow southwards through the night, blowing that rain out of the way. Not much rain left on that weather front by the time it gets to the south and temperatures should still hold up but it will be far colder further north to start Friday morning and those snow showers initially at lower levels probably lifting onto the hills through the day but it will feel a lot colder we'll really notice that even where we keep some cloud around I think but particularly for Scotland and for eastern parts of England these are maximums but I think add on the set of that wind still blowing a gale across northern and eastern areas potentially it will feel much, much colder than we've come used to. And actually, by Saturday morning, a widespread frost to greet us. But that means plenty of sunshine and just a few showers. Still, as we see on Friday, pestering eastern coastal counties, still that keen breeze here and a wind chill. But I think the wind's easing elsewhere, fewer showers around. And we should see and not as high temperatures as Friday, but actually without the wind, probably not feeling quite as bitter. Still another cold start on Sunday, but a question mark as to how quickly the rain comes in from the west. It does look as if we'll still see a good deal of dry, bright weather and the best of the sunshine in the morning.